This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 28th of January. James Spann here. Don't forget, Storm Alert 2010 begins tonight in Winfield. We kick things off at 7 o'clock at First Baptist Church. If you live up in northwest Alabama, we hope to see you there. And let's talk about this weather coming in here. Very interesting. Skycam shots, Auburn University down in Lee County, clear and cold. In fact, they're one of the cold spots in the whole state down there with uh, readings in the upper 20s. How about a moon over Mobile? That's the uh, view of the city of Mobile coming from the battleship USS Alabama. It's obviously clear down there. And in Jasper, look at uh, the downtown area there coming from the King Building up in Walker County. Yeah, you see that trouble coming right there, don't you? Polar vortex over the east, delivering very cold air. Southern branch delivering a strong storm system. Somebody will be slammed with snow and ice in coming days across the mid-south. Temperatures this morning, again, the colder values off to the east where the sky is still clear. Anniston, 29, but up in the shoulder, it's cloudy and 45 up there, 16 degrees warmer. Yeah, there's your uh, big mess right there. The Interstate 40 storm, if you will. Amarillo, Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville. Over to the Carolinas and Virginia. Winter storm watches and warnings up for the whole area. Here's a look at the snow outlook for today. The bullseye, uh, really New Mexico, the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles over toward Oak City tomorrow for Friday. Bullseye for the snow, again, along in, well, really along Interstate 40. Arkansas, Tennessee, over into uh, North Carolina. And day three, which is Saturday, in case you're traveling, uh, places like Richmond, Virginia. And around the Tidewater, they could be slammed with heavy snow. Ice outlook, oh boy, ugly stuff. Freezing rain and ice accumulation. Look out South Oklahoma. This is uh, today. There's tomorrow. Icing possible across the Mid-South. The, those probabilities extend down to extreme North Alabama. And on day three Saturday, maybe a little bit of icing over North Carolina. A lot of that will be in the form of snow over there, though. There's the overall QPF chart. Big mess. Of course, good rains uh, down in the uh, rain sector where we are. Rainfall amounts of one to two inches will be likely. It'll be a good rain producer. But let's get down and get specific. What do you say? This is the 06E GFS at uh, noon today. And again, this is at 500 millibars. Northern branch delivering the cold air. Southern branch cranking out the storms. And uh, down below that, things get awfully messy. in uh, the Texas panhandle in Oklahoma today. All right, let's get down to tomorrow and get specific. This is noon. Models are still a little slower with the stuff coming in here. Uh, so it looks like tomorrow morning we stay dry. There might be a sprinkle somewhere, maybe even an ice pellet somewhere. But uh, you can see the bulk of the really nasty stuff still back off to the west. Again, that is a big mess for Arkansas there. Uh, this is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Heavier rain begins moving into uh, northwest Alabama. Should be raining uh, over about the northern half of the state. And again, that is the, uh, the, the, the lower blue dash line. That is the critical thickness value, the uh, 1320 line. Between 1,000 and 850 millibars. We're working the low-level thickness because this cold air is very shallow. And you can see just how close the Tennessee Valley is to having some problems up there. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a very close call for Huntsville and the Shoals in Scottsboro. Very close. Uh, but down here, just rain. We'll go to midnight Friday night. That should be a very good rain for us. A cold rain falling. And again, uh, the other thing we'll have to watch out for is uh, cold air damming or the wedge coming in from the east. It was uh, northeast Alabama counties, uh, Jackson and Cherokee and DeKalb. But again, for, we're not going to change anything just for most of our market, the Birmingham television market, just a cold rain. And then uh, at some point uh, toward uh, daybreak, there could be a changeover to a wintry mix where some snowflakes and ice pellets mix in. Uh, temperatures should stay just above freezing down here, so we're hoping that prevents any bridge icing problems. But again, up north, there could be some over Huntsville in the Shoals, Scottsboro, the Tennessee Valley up there. So again, if you're traveling late tomorrow night or Saturday morning, just be aware of that. And of course, the farther north you go, Tennessee could be a pretty big mess from their snow and ice accumulation up there. And then noon Saturday, the whole thing is over. We'll mention a chance of snow flurries Saturday morning, but obviously with uh, thickness values like that, Saturday will be sharply colder. Uh, I don't think we make it out of the 30s all day with very uh, uh, gusty winds and wind chill index values below freezing much of the day. And there's a look at the accumulated snow of this storm coming off the RPM model. Boy, if this is right, Amarillo will be 
buried with almost two feet of snow out there. And uh, the amounts over uh, Arkansas and Tennessee in the uh, four-inch range, maybe six inches in spots, and you can see the bulk of the, the heavier snow should be along and north of Interstate 40. South of Interstate 40, that's where the icing will be a concern. And as always, with anything like this, I will guarantee you there will be a few surprises. So we're going to be watching this with interest. And Sunday uh, will be cold in the morning. We'll warm up into the 40s Sunday afternoon. And uh, Monday of next week looks dry. At Next Impulse, there's Tuesday at midday. That's suggesting that thing maybe comes through here Monday night or Tuesday morning. And not much, kind of light rain with that. And then uh, Wednesday will be dry. Thursday, a week from today, here comes the next storm in the southern branch. That looks pretty uh, wet uh, this time. No real cold air involved. And then a week from tomorrow, surface low is over Rome, Georgia. And again, that looks like a good wet down toward the end of next week. So uh, for next week, we're thinking some light rain, maybe Monday night or Tuesday morning. A big rain out there toward the end of next week. And the end of the forecast on the 12th of February. Yeah, you can try to see the western ridge trying to pump up there in the somewhat of an eastern trough, but no real super delivery of cold air. But again, you know, look at the AO going off the chart at mid-month. The operational GFS kind of waffling out there, which what you expect. But again, that chart is a little troubling. So we'll just have to hang on here and see if we do get a major cold pop at mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. Uh, and if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. And again, if you live in northwest Alabama, we hope to see you at Winfield tonight at First Baptist Church for Storm Alert 2010 at 7. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.